Earlier in this series, you learned that power and energy are related concepts. Since we now know how to find power in DC circuits, we are also able to analyze energy usage in electric circuits. Previously, in this chapter, we explored Ohm's Law and the Power Formula. Then we combined Ohm's Law and the Power Formula to get Joule's Law and a related form. Recall from the introductory chapter and your physics course that energy is equal to power times time. This relationship adds one equation and two variables, energy and time, to the set of four variables, voltage, current, resistance, and power, we worked with in the segments on Ohm's Law and power. A unit of energy is a unit of power times a unit of time. The base unit for energy is the joule, which is one watt times one second. However, one joule is a very small quantity of energy, so in many applications, energy is expressed in units of kilowatts times hours, or kilowatt hours. Note that this is still a unit of power times a unit of time. If either energy or time are known, and any two other basic variables are given, or can be determined, then any circuit problem involving voltage, current, resistance, power, energy, and time can be solved using the equations shown here. Here are some examples.